previously on Resin by Megan. Hi friends, just a quick note for today's video. This video is actually two different videos, kind of cut up and spliced together. Hello friends, welcome back to Resin Ween. I'm so excited you guys. Um, Jay Diction reached out and asked me if I would like to try their new resin Crete. And uh, here's the thing, we're in resin ween. And um, one of the best horror movies, I think, of 2023 came out recently. And I want to recreate something from that movie. Uh, if you are a horror fan at all, you're probably already seeing where I'm going with this. So, um, first thing I want to do is I want to try a, a test, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to test what I want to use this for. Um, so again, if you're a horror fan, you're probably right there with me when I pull out a glove. Um, I will be wearing gloves for this, but this is an extra glove. And I just want to see, right, um, by the way, this has a 8-minute working time and a 20-minute cure time. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. God, could you imagine if all of our resin did that? Um, I want to try to pour the resin crete into the glove um, and see if the glove will come off of it. I'm only going for this experiment. I'm only going to mix up a little, little bit, okay? Just, just, a, just a smidge. Just to pour it in there and see if the glove sticks to it, see if the glove reacts, um, you know, that kind of thing. And then we will go from there. This is going to be a very long video, so I sincerely apologize for that. I'm already at six minutes for my intro, which is a little crazy. So, uh... That's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to have to hang up the glove. Um, I probably could do it from the pole that you guys are attached to for a point down view. So let me figure out how to rig that up and um, and we will get started mixing up the resin crete. Um, again, this has an eight minute working time. That's it. Once you're past eight minutes, it starts setting. I'm, I'm, I've been, or so I've been told. So, um, yes. Oh, and I watched someone on YouTube use this stuff, and while Jay Diction does say to measure, she said she doesn't measure, she just goes by feel of consistency and stuff. Um, I'm going to measure. <laughs> I do not trust, I'm an idiot. I do not trust myself to get this right. So, I have brought down to the basement our Cuisinart, um, not sponsored, <laughs> kitchen uh, scale. So, anyway, we're going to clean all of this off of my desk. We're going to get um, set up to start filming, and we're going to pour a little, uh, just, just a finger's worth of resin cream. Okay, all right.
All right, friends. I think it's been 20 minutes. Um, it's probably been a little bit longer than that. Um, yes. So, it's, it's hard. It's very, very hard. Um, and it's warm. So, I don't know what the telltale sign of I'm ready to be demolded. I mean, obviously, a glove is not a mold, right? Um, so, I'm assuming, let me get this back over here so we don't lose it. I'm assuming it's ready. It's hard as a rock, <laughs> which is great. Um, and that is just the overspill part. So, we're going to see if we can get this single finger out. Hopefully we can. Oh yeah. Wow. That worked out perfectly. And look, the glove is still intact. Um, so I can reuse this glove for what I'm good. Um, yeah, that's just the extra. This, um, I sat here with it. Typically when I pour resin, um, after a little while of making sure there's no bubbles, I usually will leave, um, like go upstairs or something. Let me just clean this mess up. Um, I will usually leave and just let it do its thing because you know with resin it takes 24 hours sometimes, maybe even longer depending on the resin to cure. Or at least the resins that I use anyway. Okay. This came out of the glove perfectly. Um, does it look like a finger? I mean, maybe. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to achieve a like curved look like this. Again, if you're a horror fan, you know where I'm going with this. Um... So what I might try doing, right, because, yeah, truly, after eight minutes, this got pretty hard. I think what I might try doing is pouring it in there, letting it sit for, like, five minutes, and then maybe trying to curve it around something. Maybe I'll try attaching the glove to, like, a cup and see if that works, you know, while it's hanging. Um... But yeah, this worked perfectly, and it's already cooled down. And it's, this is hard as a rock. That is so great. Um, so yeah, my, the things that I need to know um, going forward in the craft are things that I'm going to have to look up are, how do I know when it's fully cured? That's why I'm still wearing gloves, right? I just, just in case there was still some in there that was uncured, I didn't want to touch it. Okay. So, um, how long until it's fully cured? How much is too much? Does it superheat like resin does, right? Because if I were to fill that entire glove with resin, oh, that would be a disaster. Um, the resin would, the resin would melt the gloves to it and it, yeah, it just wouldn't be good. Um, with this, I will say it got warm to the touch, but never to the level of resin, um, which is great. Also, I'm touching this, right? Here, we'll put it right here. How in the world did I... Anyway, there's nothing coming off of this. It's not powdery. It's not leaving a residue. This is great. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I'm done talking for most of this until we're done and degloving it. <laughs> Which is a scary thought if you've seen Gerald's game. Anyway, um, I'm done talking. We're going to fill the whole glove up. I'm going to attempt to try and curl it. We'll see how it works. And then we will go from there. Okay? Alright, let's, let's keep going. Um, I apologize for the length of this video, but a girl has got to test stuff. Okay. Alright, let's go.
All right, friends. It's well and truly done. Um, I had to leave it for the weekend because I was visiting family. This was a lot of fun to try. Um, we'll see how it looks. Apologies for the crinkling. Okay. The fingers look awful thin, but I'm not expecting film quality. And if you haven't guessed already, or if you're not a film buff, or like a horror fan, or you've just never even heard of it, um, I am trying to recreate the hand from Talk To Me. Insert picture here. So, hopefully I can get this out without breaking a finger. <laughs> Mine or the hands. This is going to need a lot of work from me. Um, so, this unfortunately will end up being a two-part video series. Um, let's go ahead and cut this off, actually. Just to make it easier on me. Let's just cut it off. So, it looks great as far as, you know, the cure of it and that kind of thing. Okay. I just don't know that it's going to look that great. <laughs> I may have to spend a lot of time sanding and shaping the fingers especially. But I am super happy with how that glove came off. Okay. This looks terrible. <laughs> it's meant to be... Well, I guess it doesn't look that bad actually. Okay. It's meant to be like a handshake. Okay. Um, the only thing I'm kind of, well, I'm very much unhappy about, and this was on the, totally not this stuff, is this right here, this weird little, I don't know, like crease from the glove, but that's still really cool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sand down at least some of this and kind of smooth this out a bit. So you can see where I had to pour, you know, multiple layers. Um, I really was worried about overheating it, right? Okay, so the glove is off and now I've got a tiny little mess to clean up. That's okay. The glove is off. The hand sits up perfectly. Um, so, this is probably, yeah, this is absolutely going to be two parts. I don't know why I just said probably. It is. It's going to be two parts. So, you'll have to come back at another time to see what I do with it. Um, I have posted, this will be the second Jade Diction video in a row. Um, this was meant to be the first video that I did for Jade Diction. And then I realized that it was going to take a lot more effort to complete. So that's why I put that off and decided to just pour a Ouija board. Which I'm very happy I did. Because it helped me. Um, but anyway, it's neither here nor there. To finish this off, I'm going to use this wood plaque thing that I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it with... I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> okay. Pardon me. I'm going to paint it with chalkboard paint. Chalkboard paint. Um, my tongue is not moving nearly as fast as my brain is, apparently. I'm going to paint a layer of this on there, and then I'm going to top it with this super cheap tempera paint from Dollar Tree. The only reason is because I don't want that flat, matte um, chalkboard look. 
with this. I do want to get like kind of a glossy look for this. And then somehow I plan to mount the hand onto here um, like that. Okay, so this is going to be the top, right? And then I'm going to mount this whole thing on my wall. <laughs> um, but also I need to, I need to do the sanding and I need to do the writing. There's a bunch of writing as you saw in the picture. Hopefully you saw. There's a bunch of writing, um, on the hand in the movie. Also that hand looks 10 times better than this one. Um, but as soon as I got the email from Jay Diction asking if I wanted to try the resin crete, this was my first thought was yes, absolutely. I have got to do it so I can recreate the hand from Talk To Me. So, anyway, that's today's video. I sincerely apologize that it is a very long one and it does not have a satisfying ending. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the uh, subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care. <laughs> that was grotesque. I'm so sorry. Put your hand on it. Now say, talk to me.